We have to uh, focus on equity, we have to focus on expansion in education infrastructure, we have to focus on promoting excellence and we have to focus on creating an environment where education creates maximum employability. As education and economic growth, education and peace, education and employability are interlinked. There are different aspects which are related to education in Pakistan uh, and specifically the overall constitutional and governance framework where we have to work within the system where 18th amendment is there, where you have to work on national standards, you have to work on promoting early childhood, you have to education, you have to work on uh, ex assessment system which is acceptable all over the world and you have to work on an environment where kids should learn and not read. And in addition, uh, due to COVID, for wrong reason, but we have been exposed to technology now. And without technology, embedding technology in our uh, curriculum, we can't learn now. This is the key platform for the kids to enable them to learn from all around the world the best practices, the best material for them to grow on a faster track. And now the advent of AI also is an enabling tool for them to promote uh, the whole concept of personalized learning for individuals. So teachers become more of a mentor in a class and the kids are now more in schools for social skills learning, for civic six learning, for integration, for team play. But individual learning is now becoming more important uh, by the advent of the technology. And uh, in, uh, lastly, what I would like to say, the government can't alone do things. In education, we have to build bridges with the private sector, with the non-profit sector, to pick up best practices uh, in the market. And we have to work together uh, in a very collaborative and cooperative manner to promote the cause of education and to improve the quality of education. Just reading is not enough. We have to make kids capable enough to be the best learner in the 21st century and to be very economically productive for their own country and uh, abroad. So again, we are working on different uh, things, especially under the guidance of the, my education minister and now the planning minister. Uh, number one is uh, a holistic national education framework, establishment of an international level teacher training institute in Islamabad, making every ICT school a smart school, uh, promoting e-Talim portal all around Pakistan, and to promote digital training for teachers' education. This is in addition to existing infrastructure projects, recruitment of new teachers, uh, teacher training modules, all are going on. But these are the main priority areas in this financial year. And uh, I again, th thank the host for inviting me to say something about education. So education is more about doing than about saying. So we are uh, like on the delivery side and on the uh, policy side and overall guidance side and advice side we look towards the Honourable Planning Minister to guide us to do more in this sector.